All right, all my Mortal Kombat fans out there, I'm sure you've heard. So Mortal Kombat 12 is confirmed. Now, and we do have a confirmed release date. It's going to be released on April 28th. So I know I talked about this a little bit before, and I'm going to go into some of that stuff again. So this one right here says, according to, so this is under fandom, under the Mortal Kombat fandom. So main story, after Liu Kang defeated Kronika, he became a god of time, thunder, and fire, gaining Raiden's powers and using his own. Him and Katana Khan protect Earthrealm and Outworld together, but one fateful day, Shang Tsung returned, killing Ermac, committing Arturo Padua's suicide and stealing the soul of Goro. Shang Tsung used his soul to revive Onaga, a dragon king, was destroyed by Raiden. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi, a dragon king who was destroyed by Raiden, Shang Tsung, and Quan Chi many years ago. Shang Tsung has also used his soul to revive Omega, the dragon queen, and Onaga's wife. Okay, so that's a new character there. Onaga has become more powerful than ever, having the souls of Shinnok, Kronika, and Goro. Had he brought back many deceased combatants such as Sindel, Shao Kahn, Goro, Kentaro, Quan Chi, Kira, Mavado, and Melina. Shang Tsung and his army go to the Soul Chamber and create a new masterpiece who is a new ninja, who is a sadist, power hungry, and an assassin. And also has the same power as him and Scorpion and his name is Dracul. Dracul. I think that's what that says. Dracul. Dracul. However you want to pronounce that. Now him and his army will rule all realms, conquering them one by one, or will they? Now, of course, we have some returning characters. Of course, we always, we're always going to have the basic original characters and the characters that you see throughout most of the games. You're going to have Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Johnny, Sonya, Cassie, Jax, Jackie, a few others. Uh, there's a character apparently named Rose, who is Centrion's daughter, uses plant-like weapons to fight her enemies. And then here's one I found to be interesting here. Liu Kang and Katana have a son by the name of Lotus. And he uses fan blades, a Katana sword, and fire as his weapons. And I did see somewhere that there were going to be some... So some of the characters who were not present in Mortal Kombat 10 and or 11 or haven't been in the series for a long time because they were incredibly underrated... Some of them are supposed to return in this game here, and hopefully they're going to be playable as uh, as DLC characters. Uh, so we have Shao Kahn, Kentaro, Noob Saibot, Aaron Black, Lotus. Okay, there's a few others. Now, I can't remember if I had seen somewhere that implied that Motaro was going to come back. I don't know how true that is. Uh, some of the other fans may have some information on that that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um to digress a little bit, I want to say that for as much as I love Mortal Kombat, and this is my favorite video game series of all time, that there. So one of the criticisms that I have of the game series is, th see, this is what they do, and I understand why they do it because it's in accordance with the story. All the true fans know what I'm talking about. Is that they don't have all of the characters playable in all of the games. Uh, most of the time, when a character is not playable in a game, it's because they were either killed, they were killed in the last game, or they were killed probably in that game or like earlier in the story. Um, and that's why Liu Kang wasn't playable in Mortal Kombat 5 Deadly Alliance because he was killed in that game by Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. Uh, Jarek was not playable in that game because he was presumably killed in Mortal Kombat 4. You know, so so on and so forth. Now, we don't know if Rain, Cabal, we don't know if they're going to be back um, I'm really hoping that Jade is going to be there because I really liked her in the last few games. She was incredibly great as far as the fighting style and whatnot. Of course, they're going to keep Katana there. That They can't get rid of her, just like they can't get rid of a lot of the other original characters that I mentioned. So they haven't told us what the stages are yet. The stages as far as like the arenas, the place they fight at. So, I mean, we do know what realms are going to be, you know, available or present in the game both in terms of the story and the arcade version. So, of course, I mean, you, you have your four major realms. You have Earth Realm, Nether Realm, Outworld, Edenia. I don't know if they're going to have an Edenian uh, stage here, but I mean, you know there's going to be Earth Realm. You know there's going to be 
nether realm outworld you're probably going to have another palace that shang song designed or something like that or you're going to have like goro's lair in earth realm places like that you're going to have the battlefield in outworld which is where shao Kahn has the characters and the combatants fighting each other so uh, i'm really excited for this game and of course you know that i'm going to buy it on opening day and a lot of you will as well so I'm really uh, excited to see, and let me see, what platforms is it going to be available on? It's going to be available on PlayStation 5, Windows, PC, Nintendo Switch, Android, Mac OS, iMac and iOS, Xbox Series XS, and Stadia. Stadia. Okay, I'm not sure what that one is, but I have a PlayStation 5, so there's that for me. Um, to those of you who do have the Xbox Series XS, you know... And good for you as well. I've seen what some of the graphics and animation look like with games on that system, and it looks pretty sweet. So I can't knock that. But so Onaga is expected to be the boss character in this game. Um, if I had to pick a sub boss or sub bosses, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Goro, if he's going to be playable, because we don't know what role he's going to play in the story. Because it stated that Onaga had his soul, but we don't know if there's a cutscene that shows him doing that or if it's just something that they wrote in there and it took place off the game or off the screen so if there's going to be sub bosses and if they're going to be playable i would say goro kentaro maybe shao Kahn, maybe shang Tsung. i could see that but i'm willing to bet the boss character is going to be onaga so so you tell me um who all what, what characters would you like to see in this game that we haven't seen in a long time and of course, when it comes out, I'm going to give my review on the game based on what I see and give my review of the story, all that good stuff, all that fun stuff. So Mortal Kombat 12, April 28th. I'm there. 